Huh? What are you supposed to be? Surprised? I guess you should be. After all, I look just like you. I'll tell you what I am. I'm an exact replica of you that Vexen made from your data. So you're a fake me. Not a fake! I don't care if you're real. You're not better. We share the same body and the same talents. But there is one easy way to tell us apart, though. Unlike you, I fear nothing. Are you calling me a coward? You're afraid of the dark. The darkness inside you still frightens you, no matter what you say. But I'm different. I embrace the darkness. I can make it do whatever I want. So... I can wipe the floor with you. Yay, a boss fight. That's a fantastic start. That was great. That went really well. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think um, trying to duel this guy is going to cut it. when I am half the time. How can I lose to you? <laughs> Jeez. That was crazy. I genuinely didn't know who I was for half of that battle. <laughs> oh dear. Level up. Very true hypes. Hey, fake! I thought I heard you say you were gonna wipe the floor with me. <laughs> Don't forget I'm still new. I'll get stronger and stronger. The next time we fight, you're finished. Then let's fight now! <sighs> <sighs> It's nice having darkness on my side. You are so missing out. How could you be scared of something that can be so thrilling? Enough! <laughs> so now the coward is playing tough. So long, real thing. Hope you don't miss me. Come back! He's gone. No way. I'm not a coward. Interesting that he said, like, Riku was scared of the dark when he's kind of 
trapped in the darkness with Mickey, right? When they shut the door to Kingdom Hearts. So, how was the real thing? He's spineless. In no time at all, I'll be better than him. In the meantime, would you be interested in meeting another who's considered a hero? You mean Sora. I hear he's somewhere in the castle. You want me to take care of him? We'll see. Yes. I intend to make good use of you. No worries. The real Riku is nothing. Sora won't be either. They're no match for me. Uh, but who just won that fight? Fake Riku? Just saying. Come out! Show yourself, fake! Fake? Oh no. That's not exactly the right word. Hansen's back. What are you saying? Isn't he just a copy of me? More like a model. He is an example of what you should try to be. He accepts the darkness. Just like you once couldn't help but accept me. But now you are afraid. Perhaps you are the one who is being fake. Fake when you pretend to have no fear. When have I been afraid of the dark? Inside of the card worlds. You grapple desperately with the darkness. Desperation is fear. You fight the darkness because it is what frightens you. I... Be quiet! Stubborn boy. Then continue your fight if you must. Eventually you will learn. You cannot resist the darkness. Right, new worlds to go and discover. Trophy, challenge from the thing. The inner darkness. Good idea, Aquarius. I don't want to get burnt out on Palace. And waited for it for so long. It's kind of like Riku. I think like Riku is like trying to battle the darkness here. Whereas like in the first game, he submitted to the darkness and obviously was Amson's puppet. This time around, he kind of is, is trying to fight it here in Capital Oblivion and like find himself. Amson's trying to get him to kind of almost give up and submit. Submit! I'm still like, extremely confused like with this game like, I've been trying to follow the story as it goes along but the general gist I guess is that with Sora anyway um, kind of like lured into the castle trying to take advantage the other person trying to take advantage of his powers of Keyblade Wielder but obviously it didn't work out Ferris, thanks for hanging, buddy. Uh, well, I'm all done with Sora, so basically Sora went through the castle, found out that the whole thing was uh, was fake, 
and um Found out the whole thing was fake, found out that Nomine had um, messed with his memories. Uh, um, and yeah, entered a machine right at the end, which was going to, um, she was going to like reset all her memories, uh, his memories back to the way they were before, so. I feel like this game's more of an introduction of like, it's more of a way for them to instill the organization, I feel. It's very much based like around the organization and what they are doing and who they are and introducing them into the story, potentially. I mean, I might be wrong. I mean, there are some bits and pieces to take from it, but... That fills me with like a bit of confidence now, like saying that and you kind of like agreeing with what I've just said. And it makes me feel like I'm not so much of a... I haven't just like been sleeping my whole way through this. has been a bit rough to me. One takeaway from the game comes from loving like one paragraph. I intend on like actually doing a bit more research once I've finished the game just to kind of get a little bit more of a concrete understanding of right here I think um, of like what's gone on and what happens and just to make sure I'm like fully with it, if that makes sense. It's nothing worse, I feel like, than playing through a game and thinking you've understood and followed the story only to get to the end of the game and then you think, actually, did I understand the story and do I know what happened? And yeah, I kind of feel a little bit that like that with this game. But then as well, I think we like saw. I, I felt like a lot of that was Sora's story, but I feel like it wasn't really until like the latter stage of the game where you actually started to get the answers. So the first like half of the game was very like I don't really know what's going on here. Who are these? So there's these people. I don't really know what they're trying to do. But then as you kind of like learn more about Namine and what's happened and what she's done, it kind of all starts to fall into place a little bit. Yeah, and that's what I plan on doing. And I even did that with um, after I finished Kingdom Hearts 1, to be fair. Even though I kind of got the story of Kingdom Hearts 1, I still decided I wanted to watch a summary just to make sure I'd understood the plot.
I mean, I love me a bit of uh, Square Enix, but uh, man, stories sometimes. attack boost. To be honest, I don't really know what like the best things to like be leveling up with Riku was where it is. When I replayed uh, Sora's story for the crowd mode playthrough, I just literally concentrated only on CP until quite late in the game. Whereas, I'll be honest, I don't really like to say, I don't really know what to concentrate on here with Sora. Uh, Riku, sorry. Yeah, I, some like some some battles and some areas it feels like dueling's a good option, but this one I just feel like flashing and lighting is the way to go here. Come on! 
Mickey cards are like a, sa a saving grace as well. I'm not liking this deck too much though, it kind of feels like there's a lot of low numbers in this deck. It's kind of like the only downside to the way this the way Riku plays, not having control over the deck. However, I guess kind of like it's maybe a drawback of how I played Sora's story, like just spamming slides all the time, so... No. It is an interesting gimmick, though, I guess, like, in as much as I, each area is, is different, so you have to play each area different because the cards you were given by the game. I need to stop, like, breaking things unless I need help. I don't know. I mean, to me, DP is still loads better than hacking and anything else, so. I'm still quite tempted just to be spamming DP here. Spamming slides, card breaking. Going for that um, approach. Wow. That fight did not die.
I may sound silly. And it may just be a um, because I've been kind of almost rushing through a little bit. But just worked out uh, how the DP thing works. Like, depending on how much your card break by, it depends on what you get. Now oh, I feel dumb. But it's best, like, if you're going to play a slight, it's best to wait for a card, for, like, the, the, one of the enemies to, like, play a card against you. Like that. My slight was nine points higher than the enemies. I'm sure that was explained to me um, at the beginning of the game. Mad Doctor, it's almost like he's been listening to what we've been talking about and what we've been discussing earlier on in the stream. I'm 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 pretty convinced that slight is still the slights are still the way to go here. I do know that I will have to do some quite a bit of dueling later on in the game because there is a trophy to win 100 jewels, I think it was. So yeah, it's not like completely. Like, that I'm never going to have to use it again, but I think in these random encounters, slighting is by far the best way to go. not hit that enemy there.
do kind of feel like um this was like Sora's playthrough and I found on like, the player proud mode I don't think like HP is as important to worry about at this stage in the game Pretty sure, like, wasn't sure, like, what I was doing with the DP on the level up screen, but I'm pretty sure, like, the more I... Pretty sure the more I level up the DP, the less it then becomes for me to activate, like, dark mode. So, yeah, I think if I'm going to like do this playstyle where I'm constantly using slights, putting my level up points into DP is definitely going to be beneficial for me. And again, I apologize if like people who are like, going, how didn't you know this? But I do kind of feel like when all the tutorials and explanations were going on, I probably just skipped ahead a little bit too much, too quickly, so I apologize. So I don't know because maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's actually increasing the number of I guess it'll be hard to say until we actually get to another another level up and then we can actually kind of like just check to see if there is a difference there. I mean, I'd like to also attack one of these guys here. But okay. Come on. Right, stand there. It's like attacking the freaking door frame. What do you expect's going to happen there, Riku? Starting to get my groove with this now. Four frame again. Say, so I kind of feel like we hit a bit of a trial and error period at the beginning of the stream, but definitely kind of feel like I'm understanding it's a lot better now. Obviously, card breaking enemies is a very important part. Lost a lot of health there, which is. Um, not ideal.
Mickey card. skipped out all those rooms on the left hand side but I just want to get through like a few more floors tonight and then when we come back to it on uh, Friday for the bonus stream yeah, we might be in a good position to kind of be getting towards the end maybe Ideal. Luckily, though, we got a bit of health there. Almost to full health. Alright, so it's raising the max DP from 28 to 30. And I'm pretty sure, like, I have to get 30 to enter DP, right? Alright, and my attack bone, my attack boost at the minute is locked out. I can't go above 20 at the minute. It did say that it decreased by two. So do I only need 28 now to go into DP mode? Well, I don't know, because I, I went to 30 there. Doctress, no worries. Thanks for having me, buddy. Um, again, hope, um, hope everything gets a bit better for you, buddy. I don't 
I'm gonna sound like a broken record, Doctor Spino. I, I genuinely mean, if you ever want to chat, just DM me on Twitch or whatever. to clear a room with Mickey Mouse. See, I'm confused. Like, my. It said my DP would reduce, right? But. I don't know. Really confusing to me. My DP, like, hasn't reduced, and I still need to use 30 to activate it, so. Yeah, I, I don't know. confused! Alright, Ursula. Let's go. I honestly don't know like, where my... I just like to literally spam the button. Yeah, I kind of wasted all my cards there on slides and... I 
kind of felt like I got lucky there with like my jeweling. Maybe we try a Maleficent here. We could maybe try a Maleficent and then um, try to jewel. Possibly. I need to try to remember to use enemy cards. I don't know that is the strategy with Maleficent here. one on This thing I think like here, I'm trying to jewel, but finding the card in the pile is ridiculous what's hard. Okay, sure, I mean, that works.
was just basically like cancelling her attacks with zero cards and then I use the gimmick card and spam your cards when you get into a duel, so ain't complaining. If it works, it works, right? I guess I gotta go and, uh, of course, I was hoping like that that would be where the exit is, but looks like I gotta go through that right hand side, that sucks. That sucks. I mean, to be fair, I don't have to do the battles, but I kind of feel like I don't want to give up an opportunity to level up, so... But yeah, that boss fight was, uh, well, let's put it this way. At least the boss fight was better than Kingdom Hearts 1, personally. Man, was that boss fight a uh, horrible, horrible experience. it raises and now raises the dp i know i am really confuddled by the whole dp thing like upgrading on the level up thing is i don't i can't really don't get it I feel like sometimes it's lowering it, sometimes it's raising it. And... This is a big room. Kind of sucks that this room's so big because I kind of just want to get to the end of Atlantica now and be done with it.
I think because like they changed up the way like, when you fight the boss fights in this like in Sora's story you fight the bosses like when you get like the key, key to the truth whereas like on this one you, with Riku you fight them right at the beginning it's kind of a bit like, you fight a boss and you just kind of want to be done with like the area So then to kind of like drag it out like this and like have a larger room is a bit like there. first. As soon as we can. The whole layout of this room is like a little bit annoying, if I'm honest. going to be a food podcast that's a very good question Rosen it's certainly a topic that's on the list to discuss uh, I don't know if we're gonna do one like solely dedicated to food but who knows how you doing there buddy good to see you welcome along That's really bad of me, but like I said, when you've like defeat the boss, you just kind of want to get towards the end and get through it. So, yeah, I did see that you'd uh, posted a list of uh, food on there. Uh, Doc, uh, Rosen, so thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. to get out of that one because it's not doing my head in. How did you not get Mickey Mouse then? But then I guess we went into DP. So, yeah, makes sense. Come on! 
Uh, so we've already done Sora's story. Um, we've completed that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Dar Ozen. So now we actually play as Riku, who has his own story. Uh, which isn't as long as Sora's story. But, um, yeah, no, we, we're all done with Flora. Uh, Are you a Kingdom Hearts player yourself, Darrowson? Uh, no, not in this one. There is, um... If you're familiar with, like, the original game, and then there is a third character on in the, at the start of the game called uh, Kyrie who kind of disappears um, but you never well, as far as I know you don't play as Kyrie at any point so I, I know it's not you do fight uh, you do fight Riku in uh, parts of the game as Sora but it's not Riku it's a it's a fake Riku that's made from uh, his memories, so... So yeah. Kind of a little bit weird, so... You do, but you don't. Um, a little while ago, we actually fought that form of Riku as Riku, so yeah. I kind of like touched on uh, earlier on in the stream it's I find this one a little bit confusing the story's a little bit weird but trying to get the gist of it so I'll be planning on watching a like a summary video once I'm done with the Riku story just to make sure I understand everything before we move on to Kingdom Hearts 2 that's for sure Before we move on to Kingdom Hearts 2, anybody who missed a previous announcement, we will be playing, we're taking a break from Kingdom Hearts, and we will be um, doing our Talos 2 playthrough. We announced the other week, so we're looking forward to that. Although I will be set to have a break from Kingdom Hearts. haven't no it's something that i always thought about doing but i've never got around to doing I'm just gonna flake out on this i'm gonna go for a save room here because the save room will take us all the way out here Um, back to the entrance hall and up to the next uh, basement floor, so, yeah. 
Let's get out of Atlantica once and for all. He says. I got a little bit of worried there. I thought, oh, I'm not done. But I hadn't gone into the actual Conqueror's respite, so that's fine. We'll go out now. <laughs>